we actually get a lot of what we want by looking around and seeing, oh, well, what do other people want? And if if we look around and all of our friends are getting married and having children and posting pictures of gender reveal parties on their Instagrams, like we're like, oh, I guess I should be having kids. Um, but the truth is that uh, that's not what's right for everyone. And again, it gets back to clarifying what's important to you. This is an area, as you bring up, where the data is very helpful to know, particularly for women. So there is data we included in the book about you know, some of the um, costs and benefits of having children earlier in life versus later. I was one of those people who got really stuck around this question. I remember being in a job that I didn't love, and Ross and I had been married for a couple years. And, you know, I, I knew from Myra's class that I wanted to stay in the workforce when I had a kid, um, but I wanted it to be in a job that I loved. I didn't want to, you know, go to work and leave my baby every day if I was like, well, this isn't fulfilling and meaningful. And so I got stuck around this decision of like, do I look for a new job or do I try to start a family now? And I actually hired a coach who helped me get unstuck and look at, okay, well, if I do want a child, there's actually never a good time. Like in your 20s, you're you know building your resume and your skills. In your 30s, you're getting promoted. And in your 40s, you're leading. And when is a good time to, you know, add in another challenge alongside those things? Never. And so if you do want children and you're with the person that you want to have those children with, the time is now. And so that actually helped me get unstuck from the perfect sequence of events of like, oh, I have to find the perfect job. And you know, it was so interesting is that when I let go of like holding so tightly to having to find the, the perfect job, I actually stayed in the job I was in. I, it turns out we were fortunate and were able to conceive uh, pretty quickly. And then my dream job came along and I accepted it when I was 38 weeks pregnant. And I started when my son was four months old. And so it's like the universe works in such mysterious ways. But I knew that my parents had had a very hard time conceiving me. And I felt like I did not want to go through a lot of scientific ways of having a baby if I didn't have to. And so I thought, you know, yes, let's try not to cling to the, oh, this is the perfect sequence of events. And then, you know, it ended up working out. And so I'm, even though I'm definitely a believer of all the science and the research and the data, like the universe is very magical sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>